Hey Taurus, welcome to your February 2024 reading. I am Charlene Lizette. Let's dive in. We're going to pull out three cards for career and finances, three cards for overall energy, and three cards for love and romance. I just need one, please. And um, then we're going to dive into more oracle cards. We're going to do a lot, a lot of stuff here. I, okay. I knew it. Okay. I should have said something to you. You know, I really, I really just need to honor the fact that with Pluto and Aquarius moving into my 12th house, I am so ultra psychic right now. Like my psychic abilities are just more psychic abilities. Like I'm more psychic than I've ever been in my entire life, basically. Okay. <laughs> so when I was sitting with your, uh, am, like with the amulets to pull out the right amulet for you, I got Venus and I was like, this is, I don't mean to use it in a derogatory term. This is rich B energy. Okay, that was the vibe that I was picking up on. I'm like, Taurus is walking into like cash money rules, everything around me. <laughs> like just this vibe of like, get it, get it, girl. You know, like I wanted, I wanted to say that to you, but I'm like, it's, I think it's a little bit harsh to start off a reading saying, um, you know, rich be energy because everyone's people are different, right? People have different um What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, different levels of like, uh, you know, tolerance. Ray, Ray. Okay, I love this. Ray's coming in. Your readings. This is great. Ray, Ray. Are you trying to be the star of the show? Yeah, of course you are. You mean me reading? Yeah, I love you too, princess. Okay. Oh my God. First and foremost, let's start off with career and finances, and I'm gonna tell you, Raven. Okay, let's dive in with this card that Raven picked, okay? Regret. No regrets. You know the tattoo? No regrets. No regrets, baby. I know that I can't change the past. You can't change the past. Leave the past in the past. The month of February is a month where you need to understand that you have walked through a portal. You have walked through a portal towards happiness and freedom. Period. Hard stop. The end. Whatever the F was back there back then, doesn't matter. It ain't your business anymore. Your business is moving forward. In your career and your finances, you're going to be extremely busy. You're going to be networking a lot. You're going to be doing a lot of stuff. There's a lot of work here. There's a lot of owning in your craft. There's a lot of communication. There's a lot of messages. There's a lot of meetings. There's just a lot. You're going to be a busy, busy, busy beaver in your career and your finances, okay? Busy, busy, busy. Here's what I will say. The Knight of Wands is here. There's a lot of excitement. I love this. There's a lot of vitality. There's a lot of fire. There's a lot of passion. I love this. I love all of this for you. I think this is exactly where you need to be right now with Jupiter in your sign. This is the time to take the reins and take advantage and, and go for it, okay, and make it happen for you in your life. Here's what I'm going to say to you, okay? Here is what I'm going to say to you. The Knight of Wands moves really fast. The Knight of Wands need to pay attention also. Pay attention. Pay attention. You got the third house, which I love. Personally, me, myself, and I, because my north node sits there, so I'm selfishly in love with the third house. The third house is your communication. It's your ability to receive information, to deliver information. It's your ability to converse, articulate, break down knowledge, break down um, whatever um, your mental agility, like your ability to like quantify things and see things for what they are versus what you wish them to be. It's also the capacity to uh, relate to your neighbors, your brothers, your siblings, to close environments. And the third house in astrology ruled by Gemini, okay, and Mercury um, also talks about um, early education or um, I, what I like to call for us anyways, because we're older, we're not going to go back to JKSK, right? Pre, we're not going back to pre-K, um, is like courses. So, um, not long, long, long study. So not like going back for a degree or a diploma or something that's going to take years to accomplish. I'm talking about stuff where you go for a weekend course or you sign up for a day course or you sign up for a course on your own time and you do it at your own pace or uh, you enter into like a nine week container, a 12 week container, a six month container. It's short. Actually, I would say six months is pushing it. Three month three month, day, weekend, something like that. That's a type of learning. It's a type of education that you can do, uh, you can gather a lot of knowledge to propel you, right? It's not the foundation, it's the stepping stone, the new knowledge. Take as many courses, engulf yourself in education, know as much as you can about articulation, about speaking, about where you're propelling yourself forward. And then 
here comes the flipping, oh my God, Taurus. <sighs> like I can't. Sorry, I just did a weird face. <laughs> Six of Wands, the King of Pentacles, the Magician. Co-creating your own financial stability and being victorious in whatever pursuits you have this month. When I tell you you have horseshoes up your wazoo, when I tell you the universe is conspiring to work in your favor every day, the universe works for you. When I tell you to ask the universe, universe, show me how good it gets. When I tell you to go and take those courses, it is because the more knowledge that you have, the more that you understand how to co-create with the universe and understand your path right? Some of you are writing, some of you are speaking, some of you are presenting, some of you are doing art and creativity and social media. You're all doing something very different, right? Whatever you are doing, victory, success. This is literally the card of victory. This is flipping celebration. This is you coming out victorious after the difficulty. Uh, do you know who this guy is? Yeah, this guy is Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. This guy is daddy. This guy is money. This guy is a rich B energy. Okay, this is the one who makes the stability, the security, maybe not the most emotional, but like whatevs. This is the guy who literally sends you a bazillion flowers. You know that trend on TikTok right now? This is the guy who literally goes and buys you the mansion. And guess what? I'm not saying you need to go find a man to do that for you. You're going to be the man if you're a woman. And if you're a man, you're the man. You don't need nobody else's money. You build your own damn wealth, your own damn legacy. Magician, co-creator with the flippin' universe. As above, so below. Excuse you. Roll out the red carpet for Taurus. Okay? Okay. All right. Just gonna put this up now here. That's fucking serious in this reading. Now, we're gonna dive into your love reading in just a second, but I also want to read this card to you before we do. It says, Will and Orca Elders share your song, Frequency of Sound, Deep Diving. You have to learn. You have to educate yourself. I don't care how much you think you know. Let me tell you something. In my 38 levels of life, one thing that I know is that I am always learning. And even when I think I know things, there's something else for me to learn about that one thing that I think I've mastered. Always and forever, student of the universe. That is the vibe. And that needs to be your vibe. Embody that. Okay? Find the way. Find the way to invest in yourself. Don't look at it as an expense. Don't look at it as expensive. Don't be stupid and irresponsible with your money either, but look at it as an investment. Say, if I invest in this course, in this workshop, in this teaching, in this 20 weekend event, in this whatever night uh, course, or you know, like um, workshop, whatever, that this investment is going to pay off for me. And it's going to multiply my money. You know, I'm going to dive into your love reading, get some cards and tell you something. So I had, I had a client who, um, who came to me and she was like, I know I'm going to make millions. I know I'm going to make millions. And I was like, that is amazing. I love that for you, girl. Let's, let's get it, let's get it going. Let's get it happening. Right. And then we were talking about the things that she needed to do to go become a millionaire. And she's like, oh, but you know, like money's really tight right now. So I can't like, I, I, I can't take these, these courses. I can't be. I, 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 there's no way I can like be paying these people to, to get, to get me to this, but I know I'm going to be a millionaire. And I'm like, do you think that a millionaire thinks like that? Do you think that a mil, like literally, let me ask you something. Does a millionaire go, Oh, I can't afford that. That's too expensive. Does a millionaire go, Oh, like I need to be, I, I, no, my money's tight right now. No, a smart millionaire knows how to save their money, knows how to invest their money. And a smart millionaire knows that investment, the best investment is self investment. Because the more that a millionaire knows, the more that a millionaire can apply to multiply their millions. In your love reading, I'm going to tell you something. This is a month where something's, something's crack-a-lacking. Some of you are walking away from a connection. Some of you are realizing uh, your relationship patterns and your behaviors. Um, maybe what you've done in the past that has really kept you stuck in toxic or unhappy relationships. Some of you are really breaking free from the emotional bonds that you may have had with people that weren't serving you for your highest good. I think some of you had to stay with somebody for a long time to recognize the truth, Queen of Swords, to like really understand what the lesson was and the connection and the union, but also your behavior patterns and also why you continue to attract the same person, but in different like 
in different skins, okay? The Five of Cups here does tell me that some of you may be ending something or feeling very dissatisfied or unhappy or just about a connection, about romance in general. With the Eight of Swords, I do see a lot of you in this like mental block space. Like, don't let your mindset, okay, um, imprison you. Don't do that. Don't do that, all right? And then we got the Ace of Cups. So I do feel like at the, you, it could be an emotional, an emotional, um, an emotional a month for you when it comes to love. Like some, like I said, some of you are realizing that you got to break up. Some of you are breaking up. Some of you are going through divorce, separation. You're you're in this place right now where, um, for those of you that this resonates with, you're choosing to recognize that you need to be on your own. You're in this. He was like, you're in this hair font phase because you have to work on yourself. And right underneath there, there is the Ace of Wands and the Ten of Cups. Because you are literally learning how to create your own happiness. With Honeymoon and Six of Pentacles, yeah, I think that a lot of you have just realized that, like, you're unsatisfied. In this particular deck, the Six of Pentacles is somebody who is not satisfied. They are bored. She's like, eh. And the honeymoon phase is over in this connection. There, you've come to the realization that like you want more and this person is not gonna give it to you. You deserve love and the empress. Guess who uh, is representing, who represents the empress in tarot? And Libra, Venus baby, you and Libra. And here you are again. So when I tell you the most powerful month of transformation, when I tell you, this is the month to get shit done and make your dreams a reality. This is the month, baby. This is the month, all right? If you wanna pick up your amulet, if you wanna sign up to my Money Magnet Workshop or any of my other courses, they're all in the description box below. The Money Magnet Workshop, you're gonna learn literally how to become a magnet for money, all right? Um, and you're gonna also learn how to break free from a lot of those blockages. Here is the Pluto and Aquarius video. I hope to see you at one of my courses. Either way, thank you for your support, your likes, your comments, your shares, your subscribes. We will see you later, alligators. Peace out. Bye.